Welcome back everybody. So hopefully we'll finish up on the stables today. Let's just jump right in. We're going to start right here with the main office. So each office has a door, of course. Let's get rid of the snow. I was hoping that torch would have got rid of it, but nope. Nice window overlooking the river. And then I'm going to put in like a um, there. Because it's not really a, like a sit down, come in and visit office. It's a come in here and check in your horse. And I'm going to leave this. It's kind of like a little sliding, not sliding window, but well, it would have a sliding window if I could. It's like a little window so you don't actually come into the office. I'll still put in a small, so we'll have a chair, let's see, a chair here, and then another one over here. We'll have a small desk, like there. A crafting table here, and a couple bookshelves here. So you can come over here and sit down and check in the horses and stuff. Or you can come over here and sit at your desk. Um, I got a file cabinet. We'll put that like right there. So it's like a cramped, busy working office. Like that. Seems pretty good. I think it's got plenty of lighting in here. Let's... Uh, Take a quick look. Oh yeah. Let's get rid of that. See if that changes anything. Seems a little dark. I'm just going to put a, uh, a lantern right there. So that's, that's so far so good. Oh, still got to get rid of all that stupid, stupid snow. There, I want to put in a little bit of red here to kind of pull things together. Oh, I need to get some more fence. I think that'd be good there. Still got this nice open area. So let's see. Let me, yeah, let's uh, populate, or not populate, but let's fill in the tack room next. I'm going to put a couple lanterns here. Just so uh, we don't have any spawners. And I also finished up on some fences. So let's go in here. So this is the tack room. I'm even going to put an anvil in here. Because maybe we're going to need some of that. You know, at some point. Let's do this, 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 and that. Yeah, very simple, but a place just where you can get your saddle and you can get your uh, harnesses and stuff. 
And then for each one of these, we can put in a feeder and a water trough. I'm going to have to go get more water. Because I, I only had two buckets worth. Oops. There. There. So I think that takes care of the stalls. So stalls aren't too complicated. I just need to do the same thing back here. I need to get some more cauldrons. At least we have this. There we go. Fortune. Let's get rid of the snow. I found the fastest way to get rid of the snow is with a little water. I guess the walls were supposed to be out. Uh, one more. I just noticed I've got my markers here where I didn't I didn't put these where they're supposed to be. That's kind of annoying. So what do I need? I need some more. I don't need the crimson. I need some more spruce and I need some more jungle wood. Um. Spruce fence, jungle wood. And that should do it. So we're going to need to yeah, get all of this stuff out of here. It's there, there, there. that oh good lit up the hallway too there so the whole first floor is now done so now we need to move on up to the second so I think we're gonna start over here in this room uh, don't really have a name for it yet. I think that's just more like a, like a bedroom or a little sleeping loft. If we do like there, and I need to do something about the roof or the ceiling. I think maybe a beam going across there. Oops. And let's say like three or four different beds and then some tables over here. Which of course I have none of that in my inventory so I'm going to need to get it. And I need to figure out what to do up there. Not so much on the inside but on the outside. Because you can see I've got a hole there so I need to block that up. Yes I do. Let's see, if I put a big log beam across here. Like that. And I'm going to go with another brick roof. Now it's a little dark and dark ceilings are not ideal. Because you really want a lighter ceiling to raise everything up. 
But in this case, I'm making it more of a kind of a cozy bedroom. So I think this darker ceiling will be just okay. Uh, three beds. Is three beds good enough? I think so, based on... Because this side is going to be that, and I need some chairs. I'll we'll put a barrel here too, but I want to put a couch in there. Oh, maybe I can use that as the couch. And there. And then we'll do that. So we got a couch. Little couch area there. And we also have I'm gonna put like Hmm I, I don't like that. That's I'm gonna do the nether wreck. So like this. And I need a light, so maybe I'm going to put that there with the light on top. That's looking pretty good. I need to get a bookcase, though. Luckily, I got plenty of bookcases. Let's put a bookcase there. So this is the little sleeping quarters we have. Ooh, with that nether break, this almost just sort of looks like a void up there. Interesting. So now we're into the loft proper here. Definitely going to hang. I'm going to hang like a lantern there because I know if I don't, I'm going to end up with... A, a bit of a spawning issue. So this is the place where I need to get some rails. I don't need this. But I think I need some rails to come through here. And I need a bunch of uh, hay bales. Oh. Let's work on the ends first. So I think I need to finish those first. Oh. Yeah, I've got spawnable areas here. But I think let's do that. We're just hanging a little bit of lights out there. And then I think what we want to do is this. So that seals off that end. This could just be additional storage up here in this loft. Um, no way to get up there though. Well, yeah, no way to get up there to the, so it's kind of like a hidden storage. <laughs> no one can get up there to see it, but it's there. So let's see, through here, let's do this, I want to do, oh, come on. And get rid of that. There. Like that. Now I got that part there. I'm going to just fill in this whole thing. And then this sand is going to be a little trickier because of this opening. I need to keep this opening open so I can put the crane in here. This. 
that maybe. Let's put a light there. I'm going to put another light on this side. Actually, since I'm here, ouch! Put that there, and I think I'm going to do. Like, oh, come on! I do not want to keep falling off of there. And of course, I'm a lamp short. I'm going to have to do something else to fill that in. Once I figure out how big the crane is going to be through here. So let's see what I can do about this uh, crane. So we'll have rails that run all the way across. And then I thought I would have two sets to go there and two sets to go there. So like the crane would go back and forth across here and back and forth across there. It would be like here. There, so those are going to be the wheels it rolls across. And we'll pretend they can go unidirectional. And then here, let's see. There we go. There. That goes in the middle there. And then we have this big swing arm Oops, that goes out. I can guess I can leave that there. There. Kind of make it look like it's got a little more structure in it. And we have this crane part that goes there. That's going to have to stick out a little more, isn't it? Let's see if I can get this done before I get attacked. Right there, let's get... Oh no! There. There. Yeah, so it's lifting up the bale of hay right now. Ooh, am I out of light? Oops, where's that chain? There's a chain. Can't reach, can't reach. There. And I'm going to put light there. Just so it looks a little nicer. So that crane goes back and forth, picking up bales of hay, lifting them, and bringing them through here. I did get 
this. So maybe that'll work there. And if I get rid of this one here and do that. Yeah, I think that'll be. Yeah, that looks like it actually has some kind of mechanism into it. Let's pick up the. Oh, oh, creeper. <laughs> scared, 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 scared. I'm scared. Okay. Do not destroy my stuff. No! Oh, well, at least it didn't ruin my road. And I'm going to have to build something over there anyhow. Whew, that was... Actually made me a little nervous. Okay, so here's the rest of the crane here. I think all we need now is I'm just going to stack up Some hay. Oops, don't want to do that. Don't want them too close to the track. Got some hay there, and some hay here. So that's plenty of food for the horses. Like there. Then I may even stack. Like a few, oops, a few in the corners there. Put a couple here. Since I need a whole stack of, a uh, whole stack of wheat, I can. starting to actually look like a barn so we got this room here done downstairs is all done I think this is all good up here yeah I may put in maybe a, a crafting table or something up here what do I have over here I've got I've got a crafting table I also got some of these oaks so I can actually let's do this I like put a crafting table here and a couple chests just for show. Got that snow. Is that snow? That is snow. I don't like that snow there. Do not like that snow there. And I still have a little bit of jungle wood left. So let's. No, let's not do that. There. There. Just give it plenty of lighting through here. I'm actually going to put in a light there. That uses up all my lights for now, but... There. Oh, I wanted to finish... Yeah, finish this spot up here. Let's see, so I know the crane is going to be there, so I don't need to worry about, you know, running out of space. So let's say I, uh, fill this in like that.
Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Nice, big, wide open area here. I mean, I could have put the crane up higher, but it doesn't need to go that way. And I may raise that. I'll have to look at that in between. I'll have to think about that. I think maybe this crane needs to go up a couple more. Yeah, if I'm going to stack it up this high, I'm going to need the crane up that way. There we go. Much better. So that's tall enough so it should be able to drop these bales of hay back over here into the corners like we have them. Now still, so this will roll back and forth here, drop the hay off where it needs to be, drop the hay off down below for the horses, and it will still, once I get this done, I will have Kind of a little, maybe a farming area over here for wheat and stuff. And this is where it gets its, gets the food from. It is a bit, uh, a bit of overkill for what you need. Because really, it, it could be just a tiny little, tiny little hand crank. You know, hand crank crane. And then we just have manual labor carrying around. But who needs that when we have automation like this? So this will roll back and forth, go where we want and completes our build. So we are done with the stables. So we have stables here, stables there, stables everywhere. So with things nice and stable, I'm gonna say thank you all very much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.